possible that you're already using Spotify, but maybe you haven't discovered all its potential. After watching the following tricks, you'll know it all. We all have a lot of songs in our playlists, but it is possible to filter them by using keywords and to find the exact song you were searching for. Speaking about filters, when you're looking for something in Spotify, you can also use the advanced search. You can find the complete lists of commands in our related article mentioned in the description on this video. With the advanced search, you can search for artists, albums, and so on. If you've got too many lists and you find it difficult to find your own, you can create specific folders. That way, you have everything more organized. Here, for example, is my list of Spanish rap. Remember that playlists can be made to be collaborative. You can create a list, copy the link, share it, and let others add songs. When you no longer want anyone to add more songs, just uncheck its collaborative status. Everyone can see the playlists that you've created, but you can make a private playlist if you're a little bit too embarrassed to share it publicly. By the way, if you want privacy, you should have a look at the privacy options you have. You can decide what exactly others can see about you. If what you want is just one incognito session, when you want to listen to something that's unlike you, for example, simply activate the private session. When you're done, nobody will know what you've been dancing and singing to. If you've accidentally deleted any of your playlists, there is a way to retrieve them by simply accessing your account on the website. With Spotify, it's very easy to share links to songs, playlists, or users, but there is something you might not know. You can share the exact second of a song so that the other person receiving the link can also listen to the same. If you're playing a song in a particular location, such as on your PC or TV, you can actually use your mobile phone as a remote control. By the way, if you don't want to use the mouse, you should definitely learn the hotkeys. This way, you'll save a lot of time. You'll also find our list of shortcuts in the article. Please find the link in the description. You probably already knew that if you're paying for Spotify, you can also save music offline. You can also add the music files that you already have on your computer to your Spotify account, making them available wherever you go. Don't forget that all songs on Spotify come with lyrics, and simply by clicking the lyric option, you can create your own karaoke. If you think we left some interesting tricks out, please add them in the comments, and make sure you share the video. Until the next time!